This is the future. the future. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. And let's see what is happening in the world of Minecraft. So if you were wondering what I've been doing in the last few weeks, this is one of my discoveries that I've made, a shipwreck. So I don't know how many of you guys know this, but once I have finished building a main project, I normally travel a day or two in one direction see what's there to build, what's there, what's nice, make beacons everywhere, come back and then go in each direction of the compass. So this was my first discovery after I finished the castle. And in going to explore it, I found a treasure chest. And inside this treasure chest is all this nice silver. And I also discovered a treasure map on one of my other wrecks which I went to go and look for. So after finding the treasure map, I made my beacon because this is a site I decided that I'm going to build my own ship. Using the one that I found, I thought it's a great idea to use that as a beginning. Then I went to search further and I found this village. And also I built my little beacon here and I decided I'll come back to this village once I'm done with the ship. Having my treasure map in hand, I went to look for the treasure and behold, it is actually right next to my castle. It's not even that far from the castle. And let's see what I found inside this treasure. You don't have to dig too far down at least. And I must say the map is quite accurate. Inside here we found all this nice stuff. We have gold, silver and so on. So what I normally do now is I pack everything up and I head towards my treasury. I mean, that's what the treasury is for, right? And I've got a lot of space in my treasury for extra stuff that I find. So, heading on into the treasury, I found an open treasure box that didn't have too much stuff in it. And I proceeded to pack the treasure away in that treasure or in my chest. Um, and I also like to add the treasure map to that chest so that we can know where I discovered that certain treasure. So, after finishing, we started to go back to the site where we did our, or where we found our original sunken ship. So sit back and relax and take a ride, because this is one of the long um, railways that I built. And there's another one that I built that I'll show you in another video that's the longest one I've ever built. It took almost forever to finish that railway. And uh, I've... I'm, at this moment, I'm actually busy building a major, major project. One of the biggest projects I've ever done. Well, I can't say that because after the castle, that was quite big. But this one is falling almost in the same category. It's a, well, it's not a mega build actually. It's just a skyscraper that I'm building. 27 stories high. And at this point, I am busy decorating. So I don't want to show you guys the skyscraper yet. I don't want to show you step by step. I want to show you the whole thing when it's completed. Because every floor is getting its own design and everything. So it's going to take me maybe two or three months to finish that skyscraper. At uh, this last few weeks, I've only done the floor, the ground floor, and the very top floor, and the elevator shaft, and all the decorations, trees, and scenery around it. But that will be a video for another time. Getting back to my... Um, building space for my ship I built a little bit of a harbor here so that we can have a place where we can start and I also thought that this would be a very nice place where you can build like a holiday resort later on maybe maybe I can build like a, a fishing village 
So, while exploring this area a bit, I discovered a second sunken ship. And exploring the ship itself, I discovered another treasure chest. And the treasure that we went to look for, that we found near the castle, was one that I found in here actually. I took out all the treasure already. So this one had two chests in it. And of course, I didn't need everything that was in there. So let's proceed with building the ship. Looking at the wreck, I decided to use the wreck as a template and I started to build my own ship. The ship took about 3 hours to build, I added 3 masts and don't forget the crow's nests, we had to put crow's nests on and it's just a shame I didn't have a way of building the, the sails for it. After building the basic layout of the ship, it was time to go and decorate my cabin. Just a simplistic, simplistic cabin layout with one bed and maybe some extra stuff that I needed, a cabinet a chest and so on. The captain doesn't need much. And after that I proceeded to put in the galley and the extra beds for the crew down in the hold. And don't forget the fresh water. And there we go, the ship is complete. I don't think it looks too bad. Actually a nice build I think for a first try. Only one more thing is missing. I went back to the castle to get my flag and then after getting the flag I went back to the ship and I started to put my banners all over the ship because this is my kingdom banner so I have to place it everywhere where I am and uh, I had to choose some quite obvious nice places where I could put the banners and I decorated the whole ship. So that's it guys, that is then my ship build. This was the first thing that I've completed after the castle. Um, I will come back here a bit later on I think and build a little bit of like a fishing village there behind the ship and uh, make it a port or something for this area. So if you guys like this video remember to give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel for the next video that's going to be uploaded and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of when that video will be loaded on. There's also another surprise I would like to deal with you guys. While I was finished with this, I started to build the railway system that goes from here to the village that we've discovered. Because we're going to do some things there as well, which you will see in the next video. And I discovered another hidden surprise under the water a sunken city or a ruin that was flooded and while I went to the to investigate the ruins I found about three treasure chests hidden within the ruins and one of the chests also had a treasure map so we're gonna go off and look for this treasure what I also did later on, I think you'll probably see that in the next video, is I created a train stop right here where the ruins are so that we can make it a tourist attraction for whoever wants to come and explore the sunken ruins. So we found our map, 
I went to go look for the treasure. And again, the treasure was not far from where I was busy building. This treasure is just a bit in from where our ship is built. We didn't have to go that far to go and look for, for this treasure. And um, yeah, let's see what did I discover or what treasure did I find. Just look at all this nice loot. So, sticking with tradition, I packed up all the gold, all the treasure, and I went back to our treasury, and I continued to deposit everything inside a new treasure chest. And I still have lots of space open, so I'm sure I'm gonna find a lot of stuff still. After that, I went back to the ship to get a good night's rest and to prepare for the next day. So guys, whatever you're doing, Keep it safe and until next time, cheers.